Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can configure and set up OpenGL project in Visual Studio using C++. So, first of all, go to the link in the description and download a zip file attached there. Okay, so go to the link in the description which I have provided and then download the zip file. The zip file will look like this. So I'm going to open this uh, zip file and this zip file is going to contain some folder and some DLL files. The two folder names are free glut and glue and the two DLL files are free glut.dll and glue32.dll. Okay. So what you need to do is you need to uh, extract these uh, files in some folder of your choice. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just extract these files in a folder. Okay. So these files are in my folder which is there on the desktop. And now I'm going to close my zip file and now i'm going to open my visual studio and in visual studio what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new c++ project so open new project and in c++ select c++ and we are going to choose an empty project and we can change the name of uh, our project as open gl okay and make sure it's empty project and click OK. And it's going to create an empty project for us. So once your project is created, you need to go to your uh, solution explorer here and right click on your project. So right click and we are going to create or add a new C++ file. So right click and go to add and add a new item and we are going to select c++ file and we are going to name our file as main.cpp okay and click add and it's going to add this main.cpp to our source file okay now to set up OpenGL in our Visual Studio project, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click my project. So right click and go to the properties. And in the properties, first of all, we will go to the property called C slash C++. Okay. And inside this, we are going to go to the general properties. And in here, we are going to this category called additional include directories okay and i'm going to click this small little button and i'm going to open and here i'm going to click this button and i'm going to choose my folder in which i have extracted my files so i will go to that folder open gl and first of all i'm going to go to this free glut folder which i have downloaded and i will select include folder here and i will select folder okay same i will do for uh, the glue 32 folder so desktop open gl and i'm going to go to glue and select include and select the folder okay so this has included these two uh you know library files or folders to our directory path okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the category called linker and inside this i'm going to go to the category called input okay so go to linker and go to input and in here go to additional dependencies and i'm going to add some additional dependencies and first of all the dependency which i'm going to add is so Whenever uh, you have downloaded, you can see in your OpenGL, there is a free glut.dll and glue.dll. 
so we are going to add the same library file related to these two dll first is free glut dot lib and second is glue 32 dot lib okay and make sure that these matches this free glut and glue 32 the spelling matches okay and what this is going to do is this is going to add the libraries these libraries in your project so that you will be able to compile your program okay now what i'm going to do is in the same category linker i'm going to go to the category called general and in this i'm going to go to the additional library directory section and i'm going to add it it and now i'm going to add the library folder from those two folders so navigate this uh, folder open gl and go to free glut and select lib and select folder and same once again i'm going to do for the glue so open gl glue lib select folder click ok and then apply and click ok okay and now once you do that what you need to do is now you can go to your project and right click it and you can open your folder of your project by clicking open folder in file explorer okay so once again right click your project and open folder in file explorer and this is going to open your project here okay and in here you can uh, you know place your uh, dll file which you have downloaded okay so that uh, your uh, executable file recognizes these D D dll file and link to this dll file to uh, run your program okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take all the dll file which are free, free glut.dll and glue.dll from my folder where i have extracted them and i will copy these to dll file in my project folder so copy and into the project folder just paste okay so that uh, any linking issue will be solved otherwise if it this doesn't work what you can do is the next option uh, you can choose uh, which is the most general option go to the c folder and then go to windows i think and in windows you can go to the system 32 folder and in this system 32 folder you can paste copy and paste these two dll files and then any uh, linking issues will be solved because uh, this is the global uh, location for all the dll files so that it will link directly your program will link directly to these dll files okay now once uh, this is done what uh, remains is the program so in this uh, folder which i have given you in the zip file you have this base code file also so just open this file copy all the code from here this is the basic code to test whether our project is running or not okay and paste this code here and then we can run our code okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to click this uh green button to run my project or build my project first and then run it and it's going to build my project first and now it's going to run my project 
and it says hello gl so the sample program is doing nothing but it's uh, creating a window uh, which is a blank window just to test if this uh, open gl uh, library is set up properly or not okay so the purpose of this video is just to uh, you know let you know how you can set up open gl uh, libraries with your visual studio ide i hope you have enjoyed this video please wait comment and subscribe and Bye for now.